finally need the sunglasses after not needing them for about <laughs> seven days. Weather much nicer to start this work week. Yeah, we're actually going to get to see the sun for most of the day. The sunrise happening just after 5.30 this morning, and it should be clear for a rare celestial event that's happening in just a few hours from now. I'm going to see reporter Rosie Woods is live in Providence now with the details. Good morning. That's right. The last one of these happened in 2006 and the next one NASA says won't be until November of 2019. That's making today a very exciting day for any stargazers. If you look over here, we're outside the uh, observatory right now. There is a telescope that's right up there. They were just putting that together. I'm also about to talk to one of the workers here that was setting up to see exactly what they're expecting for today. But NASA did send us this graphic to help explain exactly what's going on out in space this morning. Now I'm told Mercury will look like a tiny black dot as it glides in front of the sun for about seven and a half hours today. But keep in mind, Mercury zooms around the sun regularly. Today is special because Earth, the sun, and Mercury will be aligning, and that's very rare. Now scientists will be using the transit to study the ultra thin outermost region of Mercury's atmosphere. That's the exosphere. For the rest of us, we're just going to be able to marvel at how cool this is. But if you look up at the observatory right now, you can see their dome with their really big telescope. It's actually getting ready for today's event, which in and of itself is pretty cool. But if you do want to check out this event that's going on up in space today. You can head over here to the observatory. You can also go on NASA's website. We'll have links for all of that up on our own website. But keep in mind, it's obviously very dangerous to stare at the sun directly. So it is good to come somewhere like this where you can use a telescope or one of their special binoculars. But also, if you can't head out, there are ways of doing it online. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.